Brilliant. <laughs> just, long you, just long you don't have a real coat brown on me. That's less than helpful. Yeah. Just doing the uh, Cassio chicane. Now coming out onto the pit straight. Okay. Okay, see you in a bit. So that was a bit slow, but hopefully drinking a banker in. Uh, the circuit's still pretty tricky to pick up. Little penalties. So I didn't want to do push too hard and then throw it all away by getting a silly penalty. Hopefully with the car being a bit warmer, warmer on lap two, we'll... Uh... throw it all away going up through the S's.
Oh, well, not the best lap, but I'm on full fuel still and uh, still taking it a bit gently because I'm more concerned about the race than I am the uh, quali. Um, in a three-hour race, quali's nice, but it doesn't always count for much. So yeah, let's put us 33rd at the back of the grid. We might shuffle around a bit. There's a few teams that are uh, unqualified either through a choice or uh, they've had a couple of incidents on their tracks out. A couple of team names I recognise from other other times we've done this uh, particular series and uh, format. So by the looks of it, we might just get a rolling start from a little way back on the circuit. We are currently just short of 130R, which is a fabulous corner when you can actually see it and not looking into the rising sun. I'm very evocative with all Japan. It's, uh, it's a bit hard to see one of the, one of the you see one of the fastest corners of the track, and the apex is completely dazzled with the sun rising behind it. I guess that just makes it part of the challenge. McLaren with the telltale exhaust plume of flames on the overrun onto my right hand side. So a bit chaotic from the start of the pack here, but we're starting so far back. Trying to file through all the uh, chicanes is never going to be that clean. Uh, 
Um, with Trevor and I driving, the uh, opening stint is largely a case of trying to keep it as clean as possible. Push a little hard if we need to, but it's a three hour race. So uh, we don't go completely crazy because otherwise we'll just come off and uh, spoil ourselves later on in the day. And everyone's having the same problem on the opening laps. The tyres are cold, the brakes are cold, the car's not fully warmed up yet. Some people are able to exploit that to their advantage. Other people find it a bit of a handful compared with uh, a nice hot sticky car with nice top tyres and hot brakes that work nice and cleanly every time round. Seems to be a bit of a shenanigans behind us, but we'll uh, we're clear of that as they sort themselves out in the chicane. Further shenanigans with spins behind us, but that's quite a good thing. Nice try, Mr. Ferrari. Unfortunately, the BMW gets a fabulous drive out of the corners. Uh, coming to the end of the season, and we're expecting a balance of performance change on them, and I hope one of the things that don't change on it is the torque that this thing develops, because it's just lovely and crisp coming out of corners. It does have other weaknesses, but uh, Yeah, I've gone in a bit deep there. A bit of luck, we'll get a cut back on him. Yep. And 
Oh, thank you very much, whoever that was. Well, that could have gone better. Always a bit annoying when you're trying to do your best to keep everything clean and out of everyone's way and just race nicely and someone clatters into you, but it happens. First 15 minutes of any endurance race were always a bit chaotic. Everyone's still jockeying for position, but uh, where are you? I can see the puffs of tire smoke and see them starting to rotate. Unfortunately, my uh, A pillar got right in the way of where he was on the track on that combination of that and the radius of the corner. Richard. Uh, cheers, mate. I'm live on. Sorry. And reversing back onto the track. That's not a cunning. I'm live on. Um... Yeah. Uh, Chris streaming it all. And I've got the open mic. Not at the moment. I'm actually okay. It's got out of the chaotic bit already. Kind of. Oh, that sounds. That feels a bit loose. Start to 33rd, but you always tend to make places in this race.
Yes. Uh, possibly a three stop, uh, but Trevor and I want to change up at the 90 minute mark. So uh, we'll have to do something a little bit clever or try to do something a little bit clever. Luckily, a zero. Tell you what, you can go first because you can go away. I've already been hit by the two other cars. Twenty-five and a drive-through, and then thirty-two and a uh, discord. And I'm on ten already, so. Uh, involved in other people's games of bumper cars, I'm afraid.
several people who tried to run the plane, so I'm going to go to the tour on the floor of the BMW as well.
because that, I keep forgetting to save the settings in uh, I could, they could hear you, but they couldn't hear the game. So I've got I've, I've got it set now. It's because I unplugged the headset from the PC and plug it into my work laptop. And then then it gets the device. Should really get a dedicated headset from my work laptop. I think. Just a cheap I think. Clear up ahead. Let's adjust the angle on this. Uh, yeah. He nearly took you out when he rejoined them. Yeah. I died a bit on the cold. I couldn't provide it. I didn't compromise Mexican that much. No, I need to try and minimise risks like that, I think. Was not really working though, so let's change it. Yeah. Let's try the B 
de algo así. No sé si es un perro o no. Is, but, uh, I can't see far enough ahead of you. Although it's more behind, you know, you didn't stop. Uh, it's more behind you, you want to see, isn't it? Uh, it's got to that phase of the race where everything's open down. And it's uh, just running. Okay. I'll go TV cams then, get some nice looking cam footage. So, car behind you is full position. The yeah. car behind that is race leader. Yeah, will do, will do. To be honest, I've, to be honest, yeah, I think if the race leader catches you guys up, I think at this rate, because of how close you you guys are, he's coming past both of you. Just don't worry about the guy behind, just do what you do. Yeah, and no, I'll maybe pull away from him to most laps, and then I'll to the last lap, I think. Not really hard, only slightly, it's slow, slow into the chicane as a result. Yeah. So gained the second on me, but... Yeah, he's just lunged it a bit in that corner, so... He's just out. He's just done himself a little bit, so... Yellow flag up ahead, watch out. Yeah. You obviously went and took it a bit too quick for your 130 That's better lap. Yeah, he's still right on your tail. Behind him. Yeah. I'd imagine that he's going to be flashing him in a minute. He's been stuck behind him like quite close for a good half a lap now. <laughs> if you're getting blue flags, the guy behind is definitely getting blue flags. He's not. He's not pulling over to let him pass either. He's holding him up. So I guess whilst he's sort of struggling to defend him, right, he's letting past. So car car behind is. For um, his race leader. Okay. Um, we'll spoon. into the hairpin, depending on how close he gets. Mm, he's 0.6. Mm. He might get you up on the way to spoon. Maybe pull off the racing line in a moment, and so you know if you let him pass. If, if you let him off, that's it. Right, he's, he's coming past. Right. Yeah. As I say, you're better off letting um, oh pass yeah, no way before the corner, and then that way you don't compromise your line into the corner. No, no. At the end of the day, if you compromise your line into oh. the corner, right. Bit deep in spoon, Yeah. I'm not here, dude. Bit deep spoon. You're driving around a spoon, not a ladle. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's out breaking. He's uh, locked up. I locked up as well. He's starting to just want to turn in. He's getting all skittish. Yeah, he locked up on. He locked up as well. So, right. 
Um, okay, car behind you, the green one. He is a uh, blue flag. So you don't need to let him pass. So red's position, green is blue flag. Yeah. Okay. Where did you um, qualify? Uh, 34th, I think. Oh, okay. Was it a bit of a scrappy quality or just uh, a quick time? Like that was just really slow. Hmm. I was taking it fairly gently. Yeah, yeah. Um, I qualified on full, full field as well. Yeah. Recently, basically, like a practice first couple of runs on the uh, race. Yeah, sounds good. Oh. Sounds good. Right, I'm just have a look at the entries. Let's see who's above us and see who we're going to get past. We've got Jürgen Katzner about four and a half back, four and a half ahead. Yeah. I'm just looking at more of the teams ahead of us to see if anyone's going to be not got enough. Right. It's a bit early for the uh, Nah, it's not. For the Gambit Google. Actually, we've already the drive down there, we're checking. Okay, got a couple of teams out already. Evil Pigeon. Uh, no, they're not ahead. Next uh, one is Team Michael A. Krause. Conrad Motorsport. Rubbish. No. Right. Uh, so that was Alex Wright P2 just went past you. Yeah. The guy behind is P27 Sierra Thomas. Do not let him past. Yeah. Only just coming into sight now, so he's not too close. Yeah, he's two and a half seconds behind. Back end just started trying to overtake me coming up through one of the S's. Okay, All right. at the moment in time we won't gain any positions due to people. Uh, oh, nothing here. Just see if anyone's in the pits at the moment. P twenty two's just had a bit of a moment in the in the corner, you end up on two wheels. <laughs> He's two ahead of you. But yeah, ev everyone ahead of us is c still currently out on field. So. Seems like, seems to be a fair few people getting disconnected. Right. Okay, so. Oh! That looks right. I mean, P2's just come out of the pits already. Oh no, so it's not Alex, right, is it? That was. No, I'll give it a moment because I sort of said that. Kevin appears. I've got Matthias Nielsen up ahead of me, he was showing his blue flag. Yeah, he's blue flag, yeah. One point two seconds behind. The guy ahead of him. Yeah. What? There's someone coming out of the pits just. Yeah, that was, that was Kevin appears. Or Kevin the pass. He's a blue flag, so. He's, yeah, he's ten, 10 positions behind. So 
So it's up to you if you want to let him pass. He is on fresher tyres, I believe. Yeah, yeah, lap scrap, yeah. Yeah, he's got a captain first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't just park it on the side of the track and wait for him to go past. <laughs> no, I know I'm polite and everything, but. Fucking start that little bit with one here and there. He's passed. What is it? He's alongside you at the moment. Yeah, no, he's just. He's, He's got a good run out the corner, unfortunately. He just couldn't cope with the torque of the uh, dimmer under acceleration. Yeah. Yeah, he'll prob probably try to get you on the straight and then let them down to the first yeah, turn. Yeah, he'll probably fail. Yeah. But again, he's got that torque, just pull away from him. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right, P13 is grey, he's in the pits. Next three cars behind R4 position. Let them pass. Well, I would do it, but you won't want to throw them into me. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, we're going to get a penalty in this bracket. I, I like how he's flashing me. It's like, where are you supposed to actually go? Right. Just pull off the race line. You've got fair f three or four cars behind that are all. Oh, yeah. They're all for position. Behind you, right? That's it, right? That's it. Next guy behind you is for, for your lap position, so don't let him pass. So, forward, uh, over Lambo. The car behind you oh. is P6, so. It's a little weird, it's just enjoying starting to work on chasing down that. Um, Mm. Yeah. Oh, you got a good one from somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna feed. Yeah. You. Watch out, the car. That's there. You go. That's leader. Right. Okay. So it's now P27 Sierra Thomas behind you. So no. Yeah. No. No lapped. No uh, lapping cars. <laughs> There's a bit of a bouncy car up ahead. Oh, right. That, one of those cars behind you is in a very bad way. The pink and white. I can't even work out what car it is oh, anymore. It's a uh, Ford GT, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Ford GT, yeah. His rear bumper is oh, all... Oh, that yellow one. It's now currently chasing me. Yeah. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, two cars. That was... Um, possible four loads of the points earlier. Yeah. Okay. You just watch out. I'll let you know whether he's trying to move anywhere. He's, yeah, yeah, he's trying to go up your left hand side now. Right, 4GT of Sierra Thomas is now on you. Try and get up your right. Got no fast repairs, so any damage will be along the pit stop. Right. Um, okay, C next car is 
David Groy in P5. And 0.8 behind him is the next car for position, so... Well, actually, the car behind is just backed off a little bit. So it might be beneficial to hold up P5 for a moment just to stop uh, P24 without changing that. That's weird, how can we be in... Oh, there we go, it's changed itself now. It was saying we were in P27, the guy behind was P26. I'm like, how's that work? <laughs> Both those cars that just came past me, the, what, the yellow Dimmer mm. and the um, Ford GT, are both been involved in some of the as well. So yeah, that, hence why they're down in 24th and 25th, obviously. Yeah. We're not looking as good as we was in practice. How's the car feeling, though? Set up wise and stuff? Not too bad, but the front end's getting a little bit. So. Okay. Obviously, we've got no tyre data, so. so. If you want tyres, you have to call it. And I'll we'll replace oh, tyres. Good. You just, uh, Could even just do the fronts if you think the rears are fine. Uh, I'll just match that back. I'm going to do that in the next slide race, and that got very interesting. Right, okay, here we go. Right. Okay, you clear the yellow flags, right. David is. Behind, car behind you, the black one. Right. Uh, annoying, they're both David's behind. Right. They're both positioned on the No, just no, just just one. Let let the car let the car let the Audi through. Block. Yeah, I saw. Maybe on the, on the straight. Actually. Yeah. Some, you know, some people just don't get the hint that you're letting him through, do they? Right, he's through. Oh, I just see that. Rear ended. He didn't break in yep. time. Right, okay. And he has to to one car as well. Yeah, right. Ferrari is uh, full he position. Track, yeah, he's he's just jumped to pits. I think. I'm not sure. The Mercedes is a uh, blue flag. Right, the Lamborghini behind is for position. Well, that says he's in P13. These stats are everywhere tonight. No wonder why SDK's not working. Which SDK were? 18. Qualification is going to be um, at 32, um, and it's a drive-through at 25. 22, yeah. Um, right, next car behind is for, uh, P6. If you have to, just break a little bit earlier into the corners. We really want to try, try if we can, try for if we can. Yeah, I'd right, say so it's not. Oh. No, I know it's not but your fault. The majority of that, I think I've probably had four, four or one exit or something like that. But, uh, a lot of it's been from other people just giving me little love taps here and there. Yeah. Three cars behind are all position. Oh, uh, sorry, not position. Um, yeah, that's that scares me. <laughs> no, the next three cars behind are all the leaders. Oh, it's my 
old sparring partner ahead of me. Hello, Canston. So the bit more on my tail is for blue yep. and is for past. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So you got James and Gregor behind you. Uh, they are also P7 and P8. And then behind it, that is uh, blue flag. But you got like three seconds between Gregor and him. So, uh, five laps of fuel remaining. The only thing I've worked out is our fuel's just completely changed on the basis that we've got another 10 minutes. Uh, we wanted this stint to last until half eight, didn't we? Yeah, we're going to be 10 minutes short. So... Maybe one, one start, don't break the oh. start. Did it start earlier? No, it started at 20 past. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, you're okay. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay right. Um, yeah. It's annoying, I need the relative up. Right, car, car, two cars behind. That uh, car behind is. Car 7 is uh, overtake, that's fine. Yep. Uh, right, the blue behind you is also overtake. Yep. So I'm just trying to think this out. So we need. You to get through to nine o'clock, basically. Well, it's four litres a lap, isn't it? Two minutes a lap on average. Um, so big enough to go. I think we're we'll gonna have to go like 80 litres. I'm thinking I'd rather put more in now, yeah, and then we have to put in less later. We're obviously using more fuel than we initially calculated. Don't know. I'm just thinking of. Are we helping the misses 10 to 9? So we need to get. I should be ready for at least 9 o'clock, but we need to make your next stint run until at least, say, 9 o'clock. I'm, I'm just trying to think. It's 120 litres, so let's say you've used 115 now, and it's been an hour. So if we need you to do, uh, what's that? I can work this out. We we said 115, didn't we? For an hour, 115 uh, divided by 60. Okay. Just stick 90 meters in, and that should, that should be enough to. Uh, I should bring it on dry tanks when I come in. 95 liters. Well, that that will get you an hour. Yeah. Um, well, it's liters is an hour. Yeah. Well, it's it's based on that calculation. It's saying ninety-eight point uh, ninety-five point eight will get you an hour. But we don't need a we don't need the whole hour, do we? So I think I think we'll go ninety. Would you just actually no? That no, will tell you what. We'll stick with ninety-five just in case. Right? Do you do you want to just do tyres whilst we're here? Just help us out. It might as well actually. Yeah. We're, we're we're down. It's not like we're in position, is it? So an extra 10, 10 seconds, fifteen seconds on pit stops not really going to hurt the moment. And at least that way we'll have some fresher tyres to fight them. 
Yeah, you might have to do a stint a little bit for the tyres, but... Uh, That's fine. In worst case scenario, we do a splash and dash at the end. Like I said, ne next thing is we just need to try to avoid any more penalty points. That's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's it. Right, three seconds behind you is P10. To be honest, I don't think there's many more people to get past us now. As bad as that sounds. Results. Alright. No, there was a few people still running that behind us. I've got two more laps from this point. Okay. Alright, you got a cut couple of cars in the pits at the moment. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the pits at the moment, so seems to be some people with really bad pings fall into unacceptable levels. Yeah. Oh, so that's alright, we're over sixty six. I should hope so, I got a new route so many minutes. Uh, last order, so, but, uh, now the, uh, PC oh yeah, much better. Yeah, we got 266, 233, 200s. Right, guy behind is for, um, is a, is a uh, leading car, so, yeah, let him pass if you can. Probably stay on the way down to the hairpin. He's giving you the flash anyway, so. So the car behind is a blue flag, and then 10 seconds behind is the uh, position car. It's lovely uh, flamey wave as it comes up the <laughs> Yeah, they do flame a lot out of the exhaust stoves, don't they? Right, that's one hour, just over one hour completed. Luckily that was... Okay, uh, guy behind is blue flag. What happened there? Caught my wheel off the grass and just snapped. Okay. Right, yeah. Okay, so, right. Box this lap. Yeah, box this lap. Oh, late. My jokes about Tokyo drifting to uh, 130R during practice would be completely legitimate. Actually, I've just recalculated it. We only need as much as 74 litres to get us through. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go down to 80. Okay. The first couple of laps you'll be a bit slower anyways because you'll be on the... Uh, warming up. Yeah. Right. Box, box. I think I'm a bit early in lap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we've got tear off. Oh. Yeah, and it gets rid of chips, doesn't it? So. Right, box, box. 
all four tyres and 80 litres of fuel. And then we'll calculate that in a minute. Hopefully we've put enough in. Got to bear in mind actually the pit stop time as well. We'll reduce the amount of fuel we're going to need. Box box. Uh, de itself, yeah, the last thing we want to do is get speed in the pits as well now. <laughs> All right, as you was pushing out, it was saying pitting in. In chat. Okay, we are filling up. Mm. Right, any repairs? Uh, 44 seconds. seconds. Not too bad. That's, is that mandatory or...? No, that's what options. options. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good, that's good. Right. Okay, let's have a look at tyres quick. Uh, tyre data? Yeah, you're down to 63. Um, oh, 55. 55 and 63, yeah, so yeah. But we will drift into the half. Yeah, we'll yeah, happens. We'll, we'll see how it runs. If you go for full tyres and um, if you go for tyres and fuel on your first bomb, mm. you're going to change over. Yeah. You can smash and dash a fuel later on, but that's not so much an issue. No. Um, your tyres will run at the end. Yeah, I wonder if we do splash and dash first, but then the problem is it's calculating how much we're going to need on the end, and if... Just go, just go out for the... Do the last thing. Yeah. I think the fact that you're doing a splash and dash is going to help, because people are going to be pit... You'll be pitting just before everyone else pits. So then we'll get the jump on people. Right. Okay. Right, so you've got a couple of cars coming down the pit straight, so watch out. Let's we'll find out where we are in a second. Right, behind you is P1. And, oh, then, and then two lapped cars. Just seen P1 in the mirrors. Yeah, he's two seconds behind at this point in time, so... Once we've got some clear air, I'll look, look at the fuel and see how we're doing on lap supplies for that. Have a look at Quiddler now. Right, we've got twen 23 laps I feel uh, based on 2 minutes, should be should be just over 40 minutes, so that should take us just after 9 o'clock, so that's worked out well. Does the car feel a bit nicer now, does it? Well, that was kind of a planned stop anyway. Yeah, yeah. The good news is, obviously, it wasn't loads of uh, repairs needed. Just keep it on track, that's all. Right. No, I think your uh, safety rating's going to take a bit of a drop. As long as it doesn't drop below three, I'm happy. What you oh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You'd have to. You should be alright. Yeah, right. Probably go down to about 3.3. Yeah. I'd leave it behind you. Uh, Tell yeah. You what, they could both come past because. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that was the. <laughs> that was the blue flag that was flashing you, not the P1. <laughs> yeah, after P1. Right, so ahead of you. P1. Yeah. He's flashing up P1. P1's the red, isn't he? Yeah, P1's just let him through. Yeah. Okay, he's trying to unlap himself, but Jesus, you don't have you don't have any command if you're a blue flag. Yeah. It's your job to try and get past.
I'm just thinking we're probably best off just letting anyone and everyone through except a position car because if a blue flag goes past chances are they're going to take spin out anyways ahead and then at least hopefully they don't roll us in that spin um, or they'll take out the lead car which again sort of kind of helps us I'll wait to see how it plays out mm. Just looking through uh, Facebook at the moment, and uh, one guy's put a picture of his rig up, and uh, he's got three triple monitors. But then to the left of it all, he's got another monitor, like fourth monitor sort of thing. So that's obviously one of the stats or whatever. Why he hasn't got it above, I do not know. You don't really want to be looking all, you know, over your shoulder, really, do you? behind is um, a lead car. Yeah, I've seen that. It's just a point for going through. Mm. Yeah. You'd like the... Learn the play, Tony. Uh, he's got an L player, has he? He's got an L player. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't spot that. He's bright enough. Because <laughs> that would not see us unless there's something. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It's got a fair few corners, yeah. So, I'll set some of the uh, one, two, three, 
Uh, actually, I'm not sure entirely. Let's just have a look, see how many corners it's got. We have... 18. 18 corners. How does it tell you on the info page, does it? Uh, 17 turns. Okay, yeah, so I, I figured they'd... Yeah, what the counts corners is always a bit weird. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a kink in the track and take flat, and sometimes it's like two, I've... two separate corners are counted as well. Yeah, so it depends on whether they're accounting the kink after the hair... Uh, what was that? The kink before the hairpin as a corner. But then the long... Ah, uh, I know what it is. No. Um, so after the hairpin, on the right hand side, as you go up to Spoon, there is a chicane. Yeah. Uh, that would be corner 12, essentially. Right, okay. oh, you've got a yellow flag up ahead. Now you're facing the wrong way. Yeah. That's Sven. Sven! Must be. I really enjoyed the uh, Skip Barber race last night. That was, that was quite good. All right, there's a blue flag behind you. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh. Keeping on track, god damn it, man. <laughs> I know, I know. It's alright, you, you can uh, tell me, oh, I'll keep on track and stuff when I'm out on track, so. It's me to keep you a nice end of season, guys. Hmm. viewer on YouTube. <laughs> Gotta give a shout out to the viewers. Oh yeah. Right, uh, that is P2 behind you. Let's check on over at the Twitch boys. You've got a yellow flag up ahead. Oh, you passed him. Tony. Yeah. yeah. Right, next three cars behind are blue flags. Oh wow. Well. Up to 59 viewers on uh, Twitch. Oh. Well, yeah, welcome to Vitrius. My esteemed colleague here is uh, doing a fantastic oh. job of getting uh, 24 out of 25 X's. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't make you laugh too much, but give us a uh, drive through. I don't think I can laugh hard like last night during that uh, no, no. race. Yeah, yeah. 
it's actually very surprising how it's uh, one one of my mates messaged me today he was like oh me and my, me and Vic were watching it last night we were cracking up laughing. I'm actually amazed it works so well. I think I'm going to have to uh, clip bits off of that race and make a uh, highlights of it. The trucks work well as well yes. in the first race. I think the, the only thing that alienated it is I think we would have had more people in the Skip Barber one if we hadn't done, if there was a free car, or if it was a free track, sorry, for yeah. um, Donington. Well, it's, it's that mixed stuff, isn't it? Mm. Uh, to be honest though, it was a left a bit late to sort of get a plan together for Friday fun. Well, I know we don't know what happened in the background, we made it work, so. Yeah, yeah. I think like doing it at least on like Wednesday or something, so people know what it, what it is and have a chance to get the track and download it. If they're going to, if it's paid. I don't think he can hear you on the basis he's not responding. Who's that? Uh, somebody on the um, things using the all, all teams thing and uh, oh right yeah getting, getting a little bit grumpy. Oh, is that on audio chat? Is that? Or is that the old text chat? Oh, I, I turn off the voice chat. It, it gets annoying when you're trying to hear your race engineer or something. You've got some random dude sh shouting like random More stuff. Recently, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the f you've just passed a couple of cars in the pits. Uh, next car behind you is P16 for position. Yeah. Um, so uh, leader. Or next two cars, shall I say? Yeah, my challenge currently is just to be make sure I get hand the car over the 24x. So, uh, <laughs> um, it's all about you. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what we'll do. All oh, right, next next stop, we're going to do full fuel, aren't we? Um, yeah. Penalties are drive through, so it's not the end of the world. No, no. Uh, I'm just looking here. We're on 52 litres still at the moment, 13 laps, so that should be 26 minutes. Yeah, that's going to be just after 9 o'clock we'll swap, so that's that's perfect. Uh, I'm not doing tyres, I'm on four hour week, do you reckon? Yeah, tyres. Tyres, oh yeah, tyres and fuel, isn't it? Yeah, for a full run, yeah. Full load of fuel. So you start with team tyres, you start with full fuel load, and you mm. arrange the tyres the best you can. Yeah, it'd be yeah, interesting to see actually. Towards the end. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see with the tyres are how worse they are, or how much better they are, that better than they are than 55 and 63 on the inside. Yeah. I'm so glad I've got the. Um, Overlay working for uh, Discord.
12.4 laps of fuel remaining. You're gaining Can't on the car ahead, it. yeah. Um, let me see where he's at, what, what he's doing. Right. He is just coming up to 130R. Yeah. Doesn't look incredibly slow or anything. I can't see any reason. Oh, he's just gone on grass. Let's have a look. See how many points he's on. But he's not going to tell me. It will tell me how he's lapping though. Alright, he's doing 208s. You're doing 206s, so you're faster than him ahead. Yeah. He's just done a. Yeah, he's just done a 208. You've just gone through the finish line, have you? Yeah. 2061, so. Two seconds a lap faster. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah. The next guy is again a lapper, but he seems to be holding around three and a half seconds behind. So, and enough say you've got like a ten second gap. Yeah, more people have uh, dropped out due to pings, so... Some of them coming in and out, that's the thing. Depends if they're in the car or not. Mm -hmm. Right, Project Brazil. Oh, we've got a couple of... Child of Racing, Project D Brazil, forget the red line, are also out. No, no one ahead at the moment. Where's that? Right ahead of me. Just quickly. Okay. Couple of cars in the pits. You're free in pit. Yeah, yeah, they can be, can't they?
Right, okay, so yeah, car, car ahead is uh, Mr. Brandon. Uh, guy behind is for is a uh, yeah. lapper. That's it. Trying to work out which way he's going to try and move. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's trying to work it out, isn't it? So. Lovely game of double guess if each, 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 each car's trying to dodge out the way or the other, and you end up doing that whole meeting someone in the corridor game. Yeah. It's not quite as easy as um, some of the circuits where you can make a stick move with right, I'm taking this side of the track for a while, and you're going to come past. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, obviously every corner is very flowy towards the next corner, so yeah. the, the, you know it's not many places, straights where you sort of can pull over and run offline for a bit. Right, next. Uh, the blue one ahead of this position, so I just hope he gets rid of that. You're gaining on him. Stop the corner. Right, guy behind is a. Next two people behind are a lap, a lap cars, P4 and 5. I have to shoot off in a minute, but then I will be back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've got uh, about seven laps left. Yeah. So I'm looking for your 8.8. .8 it's saying here, so we'll get eight laps of fuel left. So 16 minutes. Yeah, it's so about bang on nine o'clock. And then obviously it'd be the pit stop time. Yeah. So let me get my gloves ready. Okay, car behind is for position, P5. Okay, car behind is now blue flag. Uh, one minute. Right, I'm going to do that off now quick. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, 
car behind you is pace, blue flag, pace. But obviously okay. the, the pace car should get through the blue flag. So right, back in a bit mate. I'm back. Oh, yep. No issues.
Yeah. Thing is, it gives us a bit of track position. Yeah. yeah. We've got a pit yet, so uh, I'm yeah. going to pit out of sequence, which is going to be a bit weird. Yeah, it's going to be weird pitting. But then, you know, there's a few guys just pitted now, so I think some guys are obviously doing half a fuel stint and changing tyres, sort of thing. Yeah. I do wonder with how much time you lose, gem like generally running 16 litres extra fuel. You know, what's it for a pit stop without, you know, without tyres and stuff, just fuel only pit stop sort of thing. What do you lose? I'd imagine it's like 30 seconds. I guess maybe in like something like Nurburg it's worth it because the lap's so long, you know, the 30 second pit stop's negligible to the, the lap yeah. distance, whereas obviously, you know, if you're on like an oval where it's like a 20 second lap, <laughs> you're not going to want to pit for a 30 second pit stop. So. Right, you're on 2.9 laps remaining of fuel, so. It's annoying you can't have more than one black box up on screen, so you can have like one with relative, one with fuel. So, two laps to go. I think our friend behind has disappeared, hasn't he? Well, he's been swapping by a whole load of um, faster cars at the moment. Oh, okay. We're showing three, uh, three faster cars. Oh yeah, 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 five, six, five, seven, and six. Weirdly, oh, I think they've switched positions since, like seven and six. You know, seven and six are on different laps. Oh yeah, yeah. I think seven and six is like the changeover. Oh no, seven and six on the same lap. Uh, oh no, so don't tell me, does it? The Audi, yeah, that's it. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'd say, he's positioned. Right, okay, yeah, you've got two cars behind you that are positioned, and then it's uh, missing Kevin East in uh, there's a blue flag. 2.2 .2 laps remaining. And 9 o'clock now, so we're doing better than we expected. You avoided the decks, so that's good. Yeah, Alright, Mr. Quigley is 8.7 seconds off of you now. So, well done. You've like, gained 8.7 in like a lap on him. Be fair, he's been dead, but don't want to buy the, But it's like, you know, he did the right thing, keeping that pressure on him, and then obviously, you know, made the braking mistake, and... So, just lap. Okay, 1.7 remaining, so yeah, box this lap. Yeah. What I really need to do is just pick up a 1X in the... Um, no, no. In the last year. Okay, so hand the car over to you. No, 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 <laughs> no, because you will have to serve the drive-through. Why? Okay. Yeah, you, it doesn't work on driver change, you have to serve the drive through, um, and then we'll run out of fuel. Which means you'll have to lap, you'll have to pit for fuel, then do the drive through, and then we pit again to swap. It's, yeah. Uh, no, you can't do the other way around. But I don't want to find out. I, I watched, uh, I was watching a video, Jim Broadbent had it, um, and he basically, there was like a admin in the race, because it's, it was a, and they oh, sort the one where doing it with Rocky? Yeah, yeah, and he sort of said, oh, look, you know, we've done the drive-through sort of thing. And uh, they managed to let him off the drive-through. <laughs> they let him off the drive-through sort of thing manually, but it had to be a manual thing. So, because they, they swapped drivers. Yeah. Now, I'm fairly sure we did Daytona Paul Pash to pick up 
uh, a drive through. Mm. I was in laps, so my first lap out. This is straight out, straight to the pits again, straight out again. Mm. Don't want to risk it. Oh, I haven't checked my pedals. It's interesting thing that the, uh, the, the incoming driver develops a different penalty and it's all soft to get a good US2 uh, serve it. Right, cool, okay. That's fine. Yep. Right, I've just checked all my pedals and stuff are fine. So I'm not going to like, randomly try to drive out the pit with no fuel, uh, no throttle. Box, box, box. Yeah, box, box, box. 0 0.9 laps remaining, so well done. We'll work that, we'll work that fuel out properly, good. Right. You will be in control of my uh, things. Right. Okay, cool. Cool. Right, okay. We've got driver swap. Oh, that's good. No, no uh, damage to be repaired. No damage. I'm going to leave you to it for a couple of minutes. Okay. I need to go and have a toilet. <laughs> yep. Right. Welcome anyone joining.
try to, but... Just lift in fifth. Oop, a bit yeah, this is fun coming out of the hip, isn't it? It's the I just need to know if it's uh, position, blue or lead. Went to, went to go for a no brake on that one, but bailed at the last second on the brake. I nearly had an instant on that. Oh, 
Unfortunately, you're not able to do that. You're not in the car. <laughs> Funny, but I can't just pull over to the side of the road and let the car through. Keep it slow on you. I'm going to make him go out of position. Is that Jerome, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not very funny, but he's like over a second away from me, so... Tell him, tell him, tell him they owe us one. <laughs> My brakes are cold, I just heard him squeaking. No. No, it's definitely brakes.
What's that? I, don't, I managed it last night and I done into a race with a little bit of fuel saves. <laughs> That was either a bad pit entry or that was a bit of a spin. Racing with you because you give me a challenge of uh, X's. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, I still can't believe I've done bar pass with like only three X. And one of them was because the, like one of them was I went wide. I, I admit that. But the other one was I got pushed wide by the passing car into T1, who's a, um, a leading car. I even slowed down and pulled off the race line and like a little straight between uh, the final turn and the first turn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing 2.8 kilos on my HUD. That's going to come down actually as well as the fuel runs off as well. Um, I'm seeing minus six. six oh God, I can't. See. If you check my stream on YouTube or something, I've got um, uh, the SDK fuel counter at the top. That's what I was going trying to go off of the other day on Donington, and I managed to make that work. That's like a Blair Witch Project, that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to keep doing the pace I'm doing. If he's quick enough, yeah. he'll get past me.
message the people behind us and say to them, we'll let them through, we want the draft. Even that what they've got around it. I'm just thinking if we can use them for a draft, yeah. and that saves us. Right, who's this one? Oh, he's he's a pig. Go wide through spoon and keep it wide to let him through. Seventeen on that Ferrari. He, uh, he, he was on the brakes way, way too much. Go for the answer. Try and get a draft off me. I moved over. And he moved over. Yeah, I, I let him make a move earlier on. He never took it. Flag as well, haven't we? Yeah. 
Zero, zero X, but I'm going to I'm going to let him pass. But say to him. Because we pitted weirdly compared to what most people would be pitting. Most people would be changing on the hour. Yeah. And because we did tyres, we got we got the undercut as well. Yeah. <gasps> you tapped me. Didn't register. Another one up your inside. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see my headlights blinking? I am. Oh, damn it. It's, I've changed the button to a pit speed limit then. Oh, was it that one? Oh, there. Haha. <laughs> right. Got it. Yeah. See the thing. I've got three blues in front of me. Well, actually, two, two blues and one of them's a position. Oh. Honestly? Honestly, he literally stopped. P23 is literally like 1.5 seconds ahead and this guy's just stopping me getting there. How much fuel do we need to... Oh, no, it's dry for it, isn't it? this blue flag that wasn't letting me through despite me flashing him and being faster. Why is it? Uh, both. Well, that one and there was a couple up ahead as well. I'll get it out of the way done with. How far is the guy behind? Uh, in terms of hey, um, position. Yeah, same, same okay. Do you, do you want to spectate his cam and see where he's at? We can work out roughly. Yep, now. Oh, 
should just keep out in front of him. Just drive through so I'm not stopping. Yeah. P P24 is showing that he's just gone past me. It's Han Yetisen. You're on about P25, Alexander. I'm just coming. Just come out of the pit lane. I am, I am, I am. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see that. He's like swerving everywhere, isn't he? Swerving and swerving. Swerving and swerving. Oh! oh and again! Oh. Right, mess message him. No, it's not on. We're close to a DQ now. I want to swear, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I've got... Right, we're on 30 out of 32 now. I think we're going to get DQ'd at this rate. Um, steering's okay, but car feels jittery where it shouldn't be. Anything look weird on the setup? If you check on garage, you'll see like something look really different compared to the other side. Clip that with protest, yeah. How long left, race-wise, and what are we doing back? How are we for fuel? That's the other question. Oh. Right, um, so if we're doing more than two minutes a lap, so we should need to pick for fuel then.
feels okay. Uh, if we if fuel will get us there, we can I uh, uh, can go without pitting. Trees tab. Does it show anyone in car, or is it just a line against that? They've quit. Yeah. Either way, either way, they hurt our race. Yeah, I definitely want to break. Do you think it's protestable that one? No. Just let the BMW for now, which is Philip. Philip Ortiz. ahead of us. Is anyone up for looking like they're going to get the queue? Is the other dri is the driver needed in in the car? Tell you their position. Or what you can do. Yeah, yeah, double two minutes. It should it will show them instead of me on the actual real car, but that's fine. I've got seven seconds to clear. Haha. Mm. <laughs> oh, they had us. 
by following. Kind in Spain. No, I'm going to. I'm coming up to my fair yard. You're not looking like yeah. Not too far ahead of me then. Okay, keep on that gap for us and then drops down. Okay. Now's when we're gonna now's when we're gonna probably start seeing some driver's box or people pit for flash splash and dash. How are we looking fuel wise now? I'm saying, see, 40 kilograms left. Yeah. Shite, 31 out of 32. Uh, right, 2.69 uh, per lap. Uh, yeah, yeah 39.94. Unless I feel safe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Thank you. Sorry. Went wide in Spain. I was trying to lift, try and coast. Going into spoon. Oh, that's that's annoying. Yeah. Oh, you know, had that back marker not have hit me, that wouldn't. Yeah. You know. Yeah, we've survived. How many the laps? The takeaway from that one is that we've been hit by other people, and that's what's put us out of the race. Yeah. And it's not that we're defending and being idiots about how we resistant the car, it's just those, li those little contacts that either come from close racing because it's a beginning, mm. or just people who can't drive GT cars. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is us out. Yep. Let's see if the tire. Uh, well, the tires look fairly good, but was that? I don't know if that. Yeah, they were really good actually, weren't they? Well, that's what I'm saying to you. When we done the testing on this setup, mm -hmm. like I was way, way, way better on the tires than what you was. I think the amount, like the way I was driving, obviously the fuel coming off and the fuel saving and stuff, I think we would have probably made that without a pit stop. Yeah, it's, it's a bit marginal, but I think we would have made it. <sighs> well, uh, really, it would have, what, been, it would have been squeaky. What we, could, what we should have done, really, is we should have put in an extra couple of laps of fuel on your stint. Then that would have pushed yeah. us to the end. That's, that's, I think that's where we made a bit of a mistake. 
I was trying not to push it all the way in for uh, so I did I did the full like, two hours because I wanted to swap over. Yeah. Never mind. No, I mean that wasn't a bad run. No, I think the strategy works. I think the strategy worked. Uh, Well, my, my track's straight, the steering wheel's not on there properly. <laughs> Are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, your times look good as well. You were nice and consistent. You dropped a 206 in there sneakily, I noticed. <laughs> yeah. You know, on, lap, on lap 60, you managed to bang in a 206. Oh, I did a 209 dead on lap 34. Always nice when you get a dead, completely dead time. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't show me the results yet for the race. I won't do it. Uh, unfortunately, we're now both going to lose high rating and safety rating from that. Meh. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking of about jumping into the GT. Is it they doing a GT3 race or are they doing GT3 practice? jump into the Watkins practice. I don't own Watkins, so that's alright. Oh, you, you're not doing the GT3 league? No. Ah, uh, okay. I don't have time for everything. Uh, at the moment I'm just trying to concentrate on the Enduros. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I appreciate the sprints are hilarious and, and, you know, probably really good for some things. But uh, Yeah. What's the Enduro next week? Uh, I don't know actually, I'll have to have a look. It may not be one because it's a um, week 13. Oh, one sec. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Um, are you still streaming now or you've. Uh, uh, still streaming. Bit. I'm just going to stop the stream, but thank you for watching anyone who is watching. And sadly, we didn't make it. But we'll try next time. Today. We're back, back again soon. Back again soon, yeah. Take care. Alright, I've ended stream. Yeah, no, there's um Tim and I were discussing um an option of doing a, a doing a, a league for us, which is the Pram series. Oh right. uh, and the thing is you'd have to have a thousand I I rating between the pro driver and the um rookie. Yeah. Um, uh, something like 90 minute races but the cars are only fueled for um, 50 to 55 minutes yeah okay uh, oh where do I uh, know no, we, we, th we, think, we think quite a few people would, would go for that yeah and also be a nice one because it, it, it gets a little bit of that balance of skills going yeah 
Um, I mean, yeah, someone who's a two and a half k racing with a one and a half k is likely to be faster than someone like me racing with a two k. Yeah. Uh, so what's week thirteen about? I'm a bit new to. Uh, it's the changeover week. They're basically, they're basically because there's four quarters to the year. They run 12-week series, and then they have a whole load of city races during... Ah, uh, right, okay. It's like crazy stuff. Yeah, so may yeah. maybe next week, then, we'll just do ch testing um, and yeah. whatnot for um, Watkins. Yeah. Uh, not, not Watkins, um, Sebring, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a team now, which is good. Um... So, yeah, we've got a fast driver. I, like I said, I, don't, I noticed on the screenshot he sent me, it said testing at the top. So, I don't. I think it's just jumped into a testing. I don't think he set a date or anything. Um, do, we, do, you know, do, we, do we know what his I rating is? Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. You can search up drivers here somewhere, can't you? Oh yes, actually, I I did I did it on the on the Discord. Uh, where is it? Where's the iRacing bot? There. Right. I did it in earlier. So he is. Colin Wynn. Uh, I rating one thousand five hundred twenty three is a B three point sixteen license. It's bad. No. Okay, just, you're not going to pull us up too hard, so we don't end up in a stupidly high. Uh, split. Nah. No, well, I, I'll drag us down anyways because I'm like sub 500. M my I rating currently is 443. Yeah. It's a shame because um, you're a better, you know, you're, you're actually a pretty neat driver. Right? Yeah, the, the problem was I, when I first started, I joined the MX5 races yeah. and kept getting taken out and I kept getting frustrated and quitting and I was just trying to push the car all the time I wasn't actually sort of tr trying to avoid people I was just trying to push the car and you know it was I was obviously trying to stay out of the way of cars but it just wasn't happening and people you know people were I was getting close to people not leaving any one room sort of thing trying to bat battle my way through or everywhere and that's what cost me my eye, my eye rating initially and I dropped down to like 200 so I've built it up from 200 yeah you know the last I few one point when I was racing MX-5 quite a lot yeah it really was just at that point it was it was so I'd had to be absolutely nailing it for every single lap yeah uh, I couldn't quite maintain it but yeah Colin is uh, 38 races Laps led 16, zero X races, he's had 11, 11 podiums, two poles, uh, and two DNFs. His average start position is 7.9, and his finishing is, is 8. So, um, yeah, he should be. Whereas me, I'm 19 DNFs this season, zero poles, two podiums, one win. Uh, one lap re lap led. I'm still uh, well, one one lap led and one win. One lap led, yeah. yeah uh, I've right last sixty-six ball. races, seven hundred eighty-six laps. Nice. And I'm since the start of series, I'm up one hundred twenty I rating. Collian is up uh two hundred seventy-one since the start of series. Right. Is that on the uh... on the iRacing bot, iRacing stats bot? All right, okay. It doesn't show up for me. Does it not? Well, I think the way it looks at it, it only shows the stuff stuff that other people have put up about actual races. What in? Should just come up for you. So it's a hash exclamation mark driver. That's going to have a laugh at me, shall we? I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. You should see it says collecting data now. Yep. Driver should not be 
to make myself feel better with some Harry Bow. Actually, I'm going to save the Harry Bow for tomorrow. How, tomorrow, and I'll get some Doritos now. Not your okay No, I've got a couple of packs of those. I'm on the. I opened up a pack of steak, steak Doritos for the missus the other day. Oh, Nearly 100 over 18. <laughs> License mm. is B3.68, so I'm going to go up locally, even if it takes us. Yeah, I will as well. Really big hit for, uh, mm. that probably it's about B3.3. Um, race is 17 laps, 556. <laughs> you can tell where I said all to my side. Mm. None. Odious, none. Poles, one. Not bad. One. Zero X races. None. Oh, DNX, one. Average start tw uh, twelve point eight. Average finish eleven point eight, six, eleven point six, and sixteen point eight for me. Mm. Hmm? Did I really do that many in really global mass? I think did six races. CRS GT Sprint five. Quite enjoyed some of those. Hmm. Four endurance races. Daytona 24, GTD. And the uh, Simpax. Mm. It doesn't track your safety rating change, but I guess it doesn't go up and down, it just, it just measures it each time and then. Uh, I don't get the eye, eye rating change thing. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> I was a 1200 at one point. I think I was a 1250 one. Hmm. Give a rough time. I'm not worrying about it. Now, now, now I'm with this group and, and doing these BRS stuff regularly. Hmm. Kind of don't care about what it is because I, I know you know I've got guys like you I've got guys like um, you know other guys who I know I can play yeah see Monday Monday night I'm collecting my um, my middle arm for my monitor stand yep. um, so I'm thinking Monday night I'm going to Dismantle this and rebuild it, and try get rid of the sag in the monitors. <laughs> um, oh, you want, yeah, you wanted to uh, put some extra bracing, in, didn't you? Well, I've got I brought um, two arms, like the right, the double thickness arms, the forty eighty arms. However, yeah. when I come to put them on, I realised that's not going to work because the way the plate bill uh, holds on there. Um, let me find a picture of it, I'll share my screen so I can show you. Uh, Sim Pro. Oh, that's not, uh, race Anywhere, that's what I wanted. Race Anywhere. Right, let me share my screen for you. Uh, applications, Race Anywhere, there we go. Right. So if you click click on my name, you should see my stream. Yeah. So sharing your screen doesn't does it give me an option to see it. No, 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 no. Click on my name where it says live next to it. You should say what stream. Shows me shows me that you're streaming. It doesn't show you me. No, what stream? There we go. You're in Discord, yeah? Yeah. Weird. So you click on my name. Yeah. And then it says, well, watch stream, yeah? Yeah, but that takes me to your um, Twitch stream. Does it? Yeah. Try, try now. Ah, there we go. 
you can see race anywhere there we go yeah so right so you get two versions you get the heavy and the light now this is the light version shown here because it's 40 40 aluminum here um, 40 40 here and then you can see these top plates there's one on the bottom one on the top so I brought 40 80 uh, side arms so they're that and then they're that again so when I put the top plate on, that's fine. But when I put the bottom plate on, there's a 40 mil gap at the back <laughs> because this 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 plate here is sitting down here, but it's not bolted to that part. So I've had to buy uh, from the guy because I I can't find this is 1200 mil. Everywhere I looked, you can only buy lengths in one mil uh, in one meter. And I measured it up, and one meter is basically like the here and here sort of thing. It's not going to be wide enough, so I end up getting the full length off of the guy um, that I got the stuff from. Um, but also, I've got my uh, in these black pla plates. One of them was missing when it turned up because T and T damaged the parcel, and they lost one of the plates. So I've had to wait for one to come back in stock, which is what he sent out uh, Thursday. They got picked up Friday and they're being delivered m t uh, Monday. So um, yeah, so I've got I'll be I need to rebuild the whole thing. I've got to take these off and then I've got to basically make sure everything on here is absolutely square as hell because for some reason it's not it's not straight. Once I've got everything all thingied uh, sorted out, then I've got to put the arms on, make sure they're straight, and then hang, move it into its position, and then hang the monitors. But at the moment, at the moment, I've got it facing into a corner. Uh, there's a lot of wasted space in the corner. Um, you want forty eighty or forty forty? It's the stuff with the lock in. It all bolts together. You have like little T nuts that slide in the grooves. It's really, really good stuff. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. get. I'm actually gonna get. A, the next thing I want to look at is getting a uh, rig that's made of it. So sim racing rigs. There you go. It's got, a, it's got a particular word in it. I can't remember what it's called. It's a uh, 40, 40, uh, 40, 80 aluminum extrusion or 40, 40 yeah. al aluminum extrusion. I find that if you, I find if you put 40, 40, 40 in, that's what you, what comes up. But yeah, you can see this picture here that I've got. So that's what, that's that monitor set up. How they've got that with that top monitor on. That's how mine's going to be. Yes, yeah, so that's how mine's going to be, um, and then I'm, I want to get this rig part. Nice, nice big space front underneath there for a subwoofer to shake your backside out. You could, yeah, you can fit just like a subwoofer or something underneath there, um, and obviously it's adjustable height, which is good. But these, uh, these stri these bits here, are so expensive. That's uh, forty. Forty, forty, forty. That's eighty, two hundred, I think. Uh, actually, one sec. Uh, but yeah, with like a wheel front bracket, wheel bracket misc, just a normal one, is five hundred and eighty-nine pounds. Yeah, it's uh, 
It's really hard to find. Yeah, it's weird that. But. No, I know. 40 by 40. No one seems to do 40 by 80. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you was right. You was right. 14, 1,000, basically 1,500 by 160. It's going to be. Yeah. It's insane because plenty of things out there that need that size in longer slots. Yeah, it's it, you have to buy it in bulk in five meter lengths, basically. Um, most yeah. most people cut it down to one meter lengths for shipping because of uh, parcel restrictions. It's bloody expensive. I'm just trying to borrow where I normally order for metal market. That's a quick metal market. So I got uh various things, no, that's fine. Um just gonna look over my email. I'm looking my email there. That's a bit of speak. Um Right, so I got fifty percent I got discount on this stuff apparently. Uh, so, four brackets, four caps, and four bolts for the corner things was like five quid odd, uh, and then the sh the long bit cost me thirty nine pound sixteen. Sorry, I'm just having a quick search. That's right. There's a couple of metal metal stockists I use to go and supply me with things. Is it? And it's, uh, I can't, can't remember where my favourite one is, and it's like, they're just wondering if they actually have anything. Odd. I've had a uh, receipt from them, or a uh, like, can't be clear out of everything. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, so half a meter of those on the the actual stand itself, the forty by one sixty, <laughs> half a meter is 30, uh, forty quid, including that. I'm going to need what one point five meters. That's one hundred and ten pounds per side. For that alone, if, if you can be on eBay, it might be worth just seeing if you can get a five meter length somewhere. I, I looked, you can't, I couldn't find it anywhere. It plus, you this, this stuff you want to make sure it's perfectly levelly cut, otherwise, you're going to mess things up. But yeah, plus, you know, if yeah, I, I look at something like that and it's like, well, yeah, do you know what? I'd do, I'd, I'd weld it up and I'd box section. Yeah, that's, that's me, and I'd build it. Back. Yeah, the thing is, when you look at this, like, so straight away for one part there, you look. So let's have a look. You need two of those. Continue shopping. Uh, then you need two 500 meter lengths. 500 mils. Then you need two 500 120s. Oh, oh no, sorry, no, you don't. Yeah. So you need two of those, two of those. Uh, one sec. I'm sure you need some more uprights as well. Oh yeah, no, steering set. Uh, there we go. One twenty by uh, eight ten. Although you you could get away with using one sixties, but. Forty by one twenties. So how far are they? Eight twenty. Okay, so you're going to want what? Two of them, and you have to go. You have to chop them down as well. Uh, I found, I found um, about forty by eighty on Amazon. Mm. Forty forty by five hundreds. So. Ten mil oh, saying that. Yeah, no, it would be ten mil actually. Forty forty ten mil You want all corners, that one. How many of those do you need? Two of those by five hundred mil, so that's fine, two of them. 
This is looking expensive already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bear in mind this is without the bolts and the end caps yeah. and everything. Pedal section. Bear in mind then also you've got to find these plates as well. Uh, See, so that's three 4080s. Uh, oh, it gets really, really expensive. Uh, three of those at 500. So, that one. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Uh, I just found, sorry, just found uh, come to KJ and out in your profiles. Which you've done a bit of a right. Okay. Here we go. So, for metal only, it's four hundred and twenty-one pounds. If you bought the metal, you've still got to buy. You've still got to get plates, and you've still got to get the um, the bolts and stuff as well for it, and all the nuts. He sells the whole kit with all that stuff minus the seat. I do have to say, for five eight nine. So, you know, it probably is a bit cheaper doing it like that, but, yeah. Depends what you need it for as well. Oh, that's got, that's on the discount. Yeah, that's with discount, yeah. yeah. Still a license to print money. You can, you can get them a bit cheaper if you get them from, say, Sim, Sim Hub. <laughs> Simple didn't send Mark, I think. Hmm? Uh, that, yeah, that, that's where all the, the gear comes from. So, for instance, if I look at my, uh, you'll see this. Uh, Do I know any in Denmark? Oh, I, I know a couple of people in Denmark. So, if I go race anywhere, TNT shipment, track my shipment. TNT do some weird thing with their tracking numbers. So you'll look, you'll see. So in transit, that's my one. But if you look from the Netherlands to the Netherlands. From Belgium to France. Weird. Where is Goring Cam? I've driven past that place. Oh, we checked, yes. Duh. But yeah, the guy I'll get the stuff from is Milton Keynes, but if you go TNT shipment for my last parcel. Track your shipment. So, from Germany, Milton Keynes to United Kingdom. Uh, Margate. Right. Of that place. Yeah. Shipment in good condition. Yeah. But, so. Somewhere between Margate and your your pad, it went a bit wrong. Oh, I can't type. Race anywhere. Uh. Got a whole massive email chain with him. Uh, oh, oh I've got to go with Mrs. Bunce.
Right, let me try find this uh, message I sent to him. Uh, viewing time message. Oh no, that's not the one. Race anywhere. Yeah, so that's the plate that's missing. Yeah. And annoy this. That's the state of the box at the end. Yeah. Apparently that arrived in good condition. Yeah, resealed by TND's tape all over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so because that plate's missing, my top yeah. monitor I can't use the monitor stand for, which is quad mount. Where's quad? Oh, there. Which is that bit. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you're just missing one so I'm missing one of those, yeah. But everything else, just missing that. Oh. So the rest of it's all sort of built up. I'm just waiting on that plate. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Hope you're alright. So, yeah, I'm planning to do that Monday night. Um, because I work from my rig, I've got to get it set. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at the uh, Glostrop, is that? In Denmark? Oh, I'm looking, looking at the. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Bell, bell. yeah. In Denmark. I've got friends over there, so it's. Uh, hmm. Right, anyway, I'm going to have to bail. Oh, mate. I'm going to go to bed. Mm. Busy day. I'll tell you one thing they've done wrong on their thing. That's 40 40, but look, they, they're showing it on a 48. Yeah, that way. Oh no, don't tell me. Put it together wrong. Huh? No. Put it together wrong. Put that bit together right. I'm wondering whether. Uh, See, they show that way in that picture. Yeah. F for the heavy. Yeah. Yeah, they show it that way. It's weird why they show it in the opposite direction. Yeah, you don't, well, you don't want to extend it out. That just, that just gives you extra leverage to pop it out. Yeah. Plus, it needs to be... What's that? Yeah, see, mine's only a single line extrusion. Whereas that is, that's the double, so that's showing the heavy. Yeah. And that's that's the heavy arms as well. So that, yeah, that's how it should be, like that. Hmm. Oh well. See. Uh. Yeah. Well, I've got a I've got a, I've got a was it sixty four inch curve stream mounted on box of wood. Oh, very nice. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'll put it this way. I've got these. 32 inch curved from the edge of one monitor to the other edge of the other is 1.6 meters in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Oh. We, we, we used to have the spare room, which we've taken over as the sim room, used to yeah. have a double bed in it. Mm. We had to sell the double bed. <laughs> and Craig has to sleep in the uh, rig, does he? <laughs> no, we've got a day bed now. Oh, okay. So, if anyone, we've gone for a double down to a single three if anyone wants to sleep here. Yeah. I was going to say, does, does Craig live with you then? No, but um, he comes in and subs for the carer occasionally when he wants a week's. Uh, so he does rest of my frock carer. We've got a carer who stays. It's a friend of ours who's claiming our support and things, which actually yeah. does a lot of the care for Joe as well. Mm. Um, and she goes back to see her dad every so often. Um, so Craig comes over and uh, helps out. out. Well, if Craig wants a laptop for. To so you guys can both game together. I've got a um, driving force GT wheel and pedals, and I've it's also his, 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 his wheel and pedals and his TV. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, if, uh, you, if you want some gear, yeah. I've got. I've got. Well, my... He works quite well between the both of us, and he's got nowhere to put it at his, at his house. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you could have it there and race next to him, couldn't you? On the little desk. <laughs> no, it's my PC. It's the big thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, he can have the laptop. You can have my steering wheel. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
need to get rid of them. But anyways, right, I'm going to go because I can hear the missus moaning in the other room, so... Pain right. of my life. Anyway, thanks for the race. Yeah, good, shame you didn't go down. Oh, actually, saying that, the race results are up. Let's have a look. Are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. The, um... Team racing, right, DQ'd, 19 laps down. Uh, right, I'm down 0.10 SR, 1 I rating. You're down 0.21 SR and 1 I rating. So, not too bad. So, you're, you're 3.47 on 9, 3.78. So, right, I'll catch that, mate. Sorry, what was my rating drop? Uh, you're down one I rating, same as me. Your SR is my minus zero point two one. Yeah. So. Oh mate. So, the big thing was it wasn't actually our fault because the yeah. contact were were just idiots got bouncing off us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Take care, mate. Bye bye.